Hello and welcome to Control Delete Tutorials. My name is Jason, Jason and we are going to continue our Mixamo workflow by showing you how to take the animations that you've uh, downloaded from Mixamo and how to apply them. Oh, I've got a bunch of them in here from other characters. And how to apply them to our cat rig in 3ds max so we've already gone through and imported the character in uh, with the cat rig uh, where it's been reskinned and fixed and everything and we have these animations here and notice how the animations kind of look okay here the hands look okay but when we get over in the max some of them start to look a little bit strange and i'm going to show you how to fix those one of the big problems that animation so it shouldn't have stayed there uh, because this animation is shorter. But one of the problems is these foot platforms are not moving whatsoever. Uh, so we need to save this walk file out here. I did not do that in the last video. Let's make sure we have that one saved out for walking. And we'll just start with this one. Okay. So here's how we're going to fix this. We're going to go back to the first frame. We're going to go to File and we're not going to click import we're going to hover over it and go to merge or you can click the little arrow here merge and I'm going to just search down through it should be my last uh, almost last one foot positions is where I've saved these and I'm going to bring in my walking platforms that I made so there's my left and right baked I bring those in now I have a couple things here I'm going to do one I'm going to select the leg and I'm going to tell it do not use any animation so I'm going to switch down here to cat bone and I'm going to get rid of all the animation on my cat bones here on the legs because I want that animation to be driven by those foot platforms so now my legs look all weird so what I can do is select my cat bone here and I'm going to turn off the global weighting from this animation layer which will set it back to the T pose whoops local not global and I'm going to do that for both legs we'll see what that looks like so it's going to readjust there the other thing I could do is I could do the same thing to uh, the hands if I wanted I could fix the local on these now what you'll have to watch is if I do that, let's see if it does it for just the hand. I want to make sure. Okay, our animation is still there. So I could tweak this to where it uses it somewhat, but it's pulling like the fingers in. So I'll just probably remove that hand animation from these, which is going to be fine. Okay, so his hands go back to just being in the relaxed position. But his arms are still using that weighting. So now his animation looks like this, which is still really weird because those foot platforms are not moving. So we need to do that next. Okay, so we'll come back here. We're going to select the foot platform for this side. Let's go ahead and hide. Uh, we have our, we'll hide our geometry here for a minute just so we can see things a little better here. So we're going to take the foot platform here on the left side. We're looking at the right, but it's the left one. We're going to align it to this foot position. So we'll say pivot point to pivot point. And let's make sure that moved. Didn't look like it moved. Oh, that's my mistake. Of course it didn't move because we turned off the local uh, animation for the legs so what we do is we set a new and we're not going to do an absolute because that'll get rid of all the animation we're going to do a local adjustment so this will just be an adjustment layer that's the one that's the plus l so we'll select this and we'll align it now and now we'll actually see it move and we're just going to do pi uh, pivot point to pivot point x y and z no orientation do the same thing with this side. We'll align it to that one. Now, if we notice the feet are getting like too close, 
that's an easy fix. We can adjust that afterwards because these are easily adjustable. I can just simply take these and move them out. Let's say negative, I think about negative 19 was where we were before. Oops, negative 19. And 19. I think that'll get our, whoops, want to move the platform. 19. Okay, so we'll move those there for now. And we fix any leg issues that end up happening too. Like if we need to rotate these more inward, we can do that so they're not pointing so strange. There we go. So now I'm going to parent the foot platforms to these. So we'll go to our select and link and we'll click and drag this to this position. We'll click and drag this one to the other position. And now we'll see that it moves along with it. Now what we want to watch is right here this knee is rotating the wrong way. So we can actually just, uh, sometimes it wants to be a problem. There we go. So we'll rotate that one back the right direction. Oh, you know what? These are the knees up here. This is the foot. So we should be okay. I thought we were moving the wrong one there. That's my mistake. Yeah, these, yeah, we want to make sure our knees are still bending in the right direction. Sometimes they can get twisted around. But I think we're okay there. And we want to make sure the character looks okay. So we'll just unhide all. Make sure everything looks okay here. Yeah. So the feet don't look like they're really out too far. We could always move them in if we had to. You know, maybe instead of 19, we'll do like 15. Now, these have been parented, but there's no keyframes on them yet. We'll select that platform and move that one in also 15. That should be a little better. All right, so now we'll select both of the platforms. So I've got both of those selected. Make sure we just have two helper objects selected up there. And we're going to do that anabake again. So run script, anabake. Same idea here, 0 to 30, and bake to original object. Now, it's going to do a couple things. Again, it's going to unparent them from these helpers. So we can delete those but it's also going to rename them, which we don't want. We don't want this underscore baked put on there because if we do that, it messes up everything. Our bones are no longer all named the same thing. So if we're using this in Unity, it's not going to recognize these animations. So we just rename, delete that underscore baked, and now the character will walk. And that's how we adjust the animation. So once I get one looking the way I want, so I'm kind of happy with that, I'll save that out into my final folder. So save as. So I'm not saving into this start animations. I'll make a new one for final animations. And we'll just keep the same name there. It's fine because we're saving them elsewhere. Okay. Now we have to do that for every one of them. So if you have a lot of animations, this takes a lot of time. So We'll go to open, and we're just going to open up our, uh, let's see, auto rig, auto fixed one. We want to make sure we have our motion layer on there, our animation layer. So we'll do our import. I'm going to do one of the bigger ones here, the mutant swiping. And it's going to be basically the same setup. Update animation, hit OK. And we have pretty much the same issues happening. So we'll just go ahead and hide the mesh again for a minute. And since our fingers are getting really messed up, 
we'll change their local. If we right click on these spinners, it automatically sets them to zero. And I'll, I can make a layer and move these hands the way I want them to look. Right now we're good with how they are, just open is fine. We'll select the legs. Basically everything down here. Let me set this back from lasso. There we go. So everything down here, we don't want that animation anymore. So we'll get rid of that. We'll select the upper thigh bone. Right click on local weight spinner. Do the same thing for the other one. We'll rotate our feet here. Oh, right. Got to have that adjustment layer. I always forget to do that. So that looks like we rotate those 20 degrees. So we'll just remember that number for the other ones. Okay, so that's set up. Okay, so now we need to bring in our foot positions here. So import, this is merge again, not import, because these are max files. That's going to be our attack. Bring both of those in, make sure you select them, hit OK. Align our positions. Now we don't have to have animate on for this because we're adjusting these from here. Okay, we'll parent these. So we click and drag. We'll select both platforms, scripting, run script, and a baked, bake to original object, close that, delete our reference objects that we had there, and rename our platforms so they don't have that underscore baked on them. There we go. Now we'll unhide character. Now, if I wanted to do something with his hands and animate them, I can go ahead and do that on that local layer. Turn off our animation there. All right, so let's say I want to change it so he makes a fist. So again, I don't have to animate this because of how I'm doing this. All I've got to do is select this hand. If I double click this, it'll select all the fingers. And if I go to rotate, should be rotate local. Can rotate all of those together. Now, we'll fix this one a little bit. So that we can just adjust this hand as we need to. That looks fine. Now what's cool is if I want both hands to be fist, all I've got to do is select this one hand, go back to my motion panel, and I can set my own preset for Ralph here. Ralph. I mean break it Mario. Definitely not Ralph. So I'm just going to make a folder here. Break it Mario <laughs> and we'll set that as big fist because he's got a big fist save that I can just come back to this other hand select it go to break it Mario folder big fist oh that's weird it's like moving the position on that one as well that shouldn't do that Oh, we'll undo there. At least it's not that hard to change. So we'll just fold those all in. And we'll adjust the one here. That's too bad. Typically, I don't have a problem with that working. I'll fix this thumb there. Got a little tweaked. which probably means this one did too. All right, so 
So now, and I don't have to set keys for that because it's just on an adjustment layer. Any issues I'm having with the feet going under the ground as well, I can change that. So where he steps down, you can see like the foot rotates down. All I've got to do is go into the platform here and I'll delete the next keyframe by selecting it and I'll go to right after he lifts his foot up a little bit and I'll delete that one I'll get rid of every one of them in between and I'll just shift and drag this one over a couple frames so he holds that position so he doesn't step down. That's fine. All right, so now his attack is done. So we'll save as. Final animation. And that'll be his attack. I believe I opened the wrong file before. I didn't realize that till just now. That's all right. Good to show you guys how to do it again. It's basically going to be that same procedure for the, any of the other animations. I could go through and show them, but you've seen basically the steps for how to do uh, the walking one and the other. So um, that's, I think, going to conclude it for this. The last thing that I would want to show, and I'll do one more uh, video for this, is I can show how we can put all of these animations together into one long, uh, one long play um, rather than having them all in separate files. So if you want to continue watching, that's what I'll show in the next one. If not, thanks for watching this series.